Hello. Today we're going to talk about foreclosure. Foreclosure is the legal and professional proceeding in which a mortgagee or other lien holder, usually a lender, obtains a court order termination of a mortgager's equitable right of redemption. Usually a lender obtains a security interest from a borrower who mortgages or pledges an asset like a house to secure the loan. If the borrower defaults and the lender tries to repossess the property, courts of equity can grant the borrower equitable right of redemption if the borrower repays the debt. While this equitable right exists, the lender cannot be sure that it can successfully repossess the property. Thus, the lender seeks to foreclose the equitable right of redemption. Other lien holders can also foreclose the owner's right of redemption for other debts, such as for overdue taxes, unpaid contractor's bills, or overdue homeowners association dues and assessments. The foreclosure process is applied to residential mortgage loans. Is a bank or other secured creditor selling or repossessing a parcel of real property, also known as immovable property, after the owner has failed to comply with an agreement between the lender and the borrower called a mortgage or deed of trust? Commonly, the violation of the mortgage is a default in payment of a promissory note secured by a lien on the property. When the process is complete, the lender can sell the property and keep the proceeds to pay off its mortgage and any legal costs, and it is typically said that the lender has foreclosed its mortgage or lien. If the promissory note was made with a recourse clause, then if the sale does not bring enough pay the existing balance on principal and fees, the mortgage can file a claim for a deficiency judgment. Please note that what I have said is informational only and not legal advice. You should always consult an attorney to get legal advice in this regard. Thank you very much.